Else today in the case of a friends with a teenager accused of shooting two people, killing one of them. And according to court documents, the teen telling police he's wanted to commit homicide for a long time. Court documents also revealed the suspect claims his mother bought the gun he used. And today we're hearing from the suspect's family for the very first time. Jason Miles live from Friendswood with the latest. Jason. Hey there, guys. Yeah, I got a statement from the family's attorney this afternoon. It says on behalf of suspect Connor Hilton's parents that they consider this a devastating situation. They're also asking for prayers for everyone involved, especially the victims' families. And court documents suggest those victims may have been lured to the suspect's home. Friendswood High School students, like the entire community, are still reeling from weekend violence that left one teenager dead and another critically injured. You see it everywhere on social media, on, on news articles, everyone's talking about it. Senior Alex Leaviando says he knew victim Ethan Riley for years. This is a photo of the 18-year-old from a GoFundMe page set up to help pay for funeral expenses. I have him in my English class and I'm just going to look around. It's just going to be an empty seat. It's, I don't think I'm ready for that. Friendswood police say Riley was fatally shot last Saturday by 17 year old Connor Hilton at his family's home here on LaSalle Street. The allegation contained in that warrant is the offense of murder. This is Hilton during his initial court appearances for allegedly killing Riley and critically injuring another and teenager. So we acknowledge the fact that this is a very serious case. Hilton, who appears to get emotional during the hearing, told investigators he wanted to commit homicide for a long time. That's part of what's detailed in court documents in which police say Hilton also stated that he convinced his mother to buy him the gun, called two victims to his home, and was showing off the weapon when he shot them in the head. According to court documents, another friend who was in a bathroom reported Hilton saying, quote, what have I done? It's very tragic. Hilton's attorney, J.L. Carpenter, included this photo of the young man with a statement today and disputes the allegation that his mother bought him a gun, adding that the Hilton family thanks everyone who has reached out, including all who sent positive comments about Connor's character and good nature in general. Again, uh, the Hilton family also sharing condolences in their statement. You can read it in full on KHOU.com. Meantime, Hilton is being held currently without bond and is due back in court in February, although his attorney does plan to file a motion seeking that a bond be set. Reporting live from Friendswood, Jason Miles, KHOU 11 News. Such a